New guidelines for the YouTube Partner Program, YPP, monetization, easier access for content creators. In a recent update, the YouTube Partner Program, YPP, has introduced revised guidelines that open up monetization opportunities for a wider range of content creators. As of the latest changes, individuals with a subscriber count of 500 or more can apply for the YPP, provided they meet specific criteria related to video uploads and viewership. This development is poised to empower more creators to earn from their content and further diversify the YouTube platform. I. Introduction The YouTube Partner Program, YPP, has long served as a means for content creators to monetize their videos and generate income from their online endeavors. The latest guidelines, introduced in a bid to make monetization more accessible, mark a significant step in the platform's evolution. 2. Lower Subscriber Requirement under the new guidelines, eligibility for the YPP has been revised to include creators with a minimum of 500 subscribers. This represents a departure from the previous threshold, which required a higher subscriber count to apply for monetization. This adjustment acknowledges the value of smaller creators and their potential to engage audiences effectively. 3. Video Upload Criteria to qualify for the YPP, creators must fulfill specific criteria related to their video uploads. They are required to have uploaded a minimum of three public videos within the last 90 days. This stipulation encourages consistent content creation and ensures that channels seeking monetization are actively engaged with their audience. IV. Watch hours or short views. In addition to subscriber count and video upload criteria, creators must meet specific viewership benchmarks. Applicants can choose to satisfy either of the following two options. 1. Accumulate a total of 3,000 watch hours across their videos within the last 90 days. 2. Garner a minimum of 3 million short views on their content over the same period. This dual approach takes into consideration different content types and consumption patterns, granting creators the flexibility to showcase their engagement metrics in a way that best aligns with their content strategy. Versus Implications and Opportunities The revised YPP guidelines present several implications and opportunities for both content creators and the YouTube platform as a whole. Diverse Content the lower subscriber requirement and the emphasis on engagement metrics beyond just subscribers incentivize creators to diversify their content, experiment with new ideas, and engage more deeply with their audience. Empowerment of smaller creators With a lowered entry barrier, smaller creators now have a tangible path to monetization. This democratization of the platform encourages creativity from a wider spectrum of content producers. Enhanced platform growth as more creators enter the monetization fold, YouTube is likely to witness an influx of fresh and innovative content. This growth could potentially attract new viewers and advertisers, fostering a more vibrant ecosystem. V. Applying for monetization. For creators who meet the revised YPP criteria, the process of applying for monetization remains straightforward. The application can be initiated through the YouTube Studio dashboard, and creators can track their progress toward meeting the eligibility requirements. 7. Conclusion The latest changes to the YouTube Partner Program's guidelines represent a significant shift in the platform's approach to monetization. By embracing smaller creators and accommodating diverse content strategies, YouTube is positioning itself as a more inclusive and fertile ground for content innovation. Aspiring creators now have a more accessible path to turning their passion into a sustainable online venture, marking a positive step toward a more dynamic content landscape.